<clears throat> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. George. So we got a Hobart welder here, and we're gonna do an unboxing. This is a Hobart Handler 125. It's rated for 130 amps, and it's 120 volts. Now, I got this as an open item. New price was 329. It was marked out at 279. Somebody returned it. They couldn't sell it at 200, so I picked it up for 150. Now. Once again, it's a 130 amps. It's good for up to 3 16 of an inch. And I believe the thinnest material is about 24 gauge. The clamp and the gun has about an eight foot length of hose and cable. And some other information on here, like duty cycle is 25% at 80 amps. And um, where was I? Yeah, that's about it. And I believe it's ready for uh, MIG gas. But it doesn't have a regulator or it doesn't come with one. Now, this is a heavy machine, I estimate. Being over 40 pounds easily. Yeah, it's heavy. All right guys, so here's the front of the machine. You got two indicators here and two dials. The top one will be your wire speed, which I believe is 10 to 100. And then your voltage setting, which is one to four. You got your on and off, and LED light here for overheating. And no indicator for on, just the rocker switch here with the, the one and the zero there. This is a heavy machine. <laughs> and I already mentioned it, but it's heavy. So I got a good chart here. We're gonna be using quarter inch uh, steel for testing. And it's rated for 316 voltage number four. So the bottom dial, we're gonna set it on four and indicates that the speed be around 35. So we'll have it at 35 there. Now this is using flux core uh, wire. And uh, somebody assembled this, so this is a DCEN, and um, I don't know if y'all can see this, the, the feeding mechanism is mostly plastic, which is kind of a disappointment. Other than that, there's not much on here to look at. Here's the back side. You got your inlet for your regulator, your circuit breaker. All right, guys, so we got two symbols. We got a V for voltage and this symbol here, the wire speed. We're gonna set the speed around 35, the voltage on number four. And these settings should be adequate for about 3 16 of an inch. Now I got some quarter inch plate here. And we're going to do two small tack welds and then throw a weld on here and see how it does. So we're going to turn it on. We got our ground clamp on the table. that up
I'm gonna do one more here on the back side. Oh, and that's the penetration there, which you did pretty good here on quarter inch. The whole bar to uh, 125 came out pretty good. And uh, y'all can check out this too. I made this on my channel as well. Works good for the, the meat gun there. Alright guys, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. It's a very basic machine. I wish it had an indicator when it's on. The only light here is for thermal when it's overheating. It'll, or it should turn on. I haven't uh, used it much to see that, but... Um, that's all we're missing on here, an indicator for the on position. Other than that, um, I think it came out pretty good. I do like that it fits uh, dual size uh, spools on there. I don't know if I can see the... Like on this one I have a 10 pound spool, 4 pound. And uh, some of the key differences right now is this is all metal construction. On this one, this is all plastic. Other than that, I mean, it's pretty similar. This is a transformer base, and this is, uh, I don't know what the proper term is, but um, transformerless. <laughs> it's a lot lighter, probably weighs uh, maybe about half of what this weighs. Um, this is a heavy machine, like I said. It costs about three, about 330 bucks. And uh, like I said, the welds come out pretty good. Let me get my gloves before I burn myself. It won't be the first time either. So I think the welds are decent for flux core wire. You know, still practicing first, second, third weld on this machine. So, uh, pretty much it for this video, guys, for the unboxing. Um, like I said, uh, share, comment, subscribe. Um, the plasma cutter giveaway is coming up, I want to say, the second week of June. So, second week of June, it'll go to somebody new. and Not somebody new, but uh, it'll have a new owner. And uh, we'll see what else we give out. So, hopefully you guys liked the video, like I said. Um, and uh, see you on the next video. Alright. Alright guys, so here's the feeding mechanism. All oh, this is plastic. Alright, if you turn this knob a little bit, you know, too much, the hex bolt here on the bottom starts spinning. So, might jump a bit on you, and here's a plus and the minus, in case you want a positive or negative on your uh, electrode there.